There's been a little change of plans. <laughs> Finally, my solar panels came in. There's this place here in Quartzsite, Arizona called Quiet Time. Coffee's printing and fun stuff. You can use their address. They'll receive packages on your behalf. You come here, there's I think my solar panels. I think it's going to cost me $5 to pay them. So, having somewhere to ship to when you're out in the road comes in pretty handy. Man, downtown Quartzsite is a busy place today. That's okay, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm in a good mood. I'm in a really good mood all of a sudden. Them, them dang solar panels finally came in. Not even get into the fiasco that whole shipping thing was. Other than the original order got lost, Amazon shipped through new ones. They got delayed. I'm thinking, oh no, here we go again. These ones are getting lost too. Well, finally after a week and a day, I have them. Right, dog? Say, hey, we got, we got, we got other stuff to be doing too. We'll get to them panels real soon, though, huh? We will. Now I gotta stop here at Discount Solar. I got to make at least one splice in one of my wires. I gotta stop and get some connectors. So it's true. Look, <laughs> they did finally come. There's two 100 watt panels in there. I already have two on the roof. Be two more that'll be a total of 400 watts and i have i have uh the splitters to get them hooked together and then also to split into the existing panels i have to make i have to extend these i can only uh, I have to cut that and use butt connectors and some wire and, and then make these longer i can only find these in 18 inch length so that was a whopping eight dollars and the connectors were two dollars and fifty cents in the mounting hardware to mount them to the roof. And now, I gotta admit, I'm feeling really dumb right now. <laughs> really, really dumb. I went to pick the panels up in that store down there. Uh, that mail service charged, charged $4 to receive those for me. And I didn't have any cash in my pocket. And I'm thinking, oh, I left my money at home. <laughs> I have my wallet, they don't take a card cash only I'm like I left my money at home <laughs> and then I went over to get these connectors okay and they were two dollars and fifty cents well they don't take cards either and well, it turns out and this only happens once in a long while usually because I'm that usually happens after I've been out on the motorcycle you know I think that the RV is back somewhere else I have to go back to the RV or back home well, I was in the RV. I had my home with me the entire time. I could have just went outside and got the cash I had in the cupboard and taken care of it. But both places were, get this, both places are, you know, I don't know how often you run into this, particularly twice in a row. The lady at the service said, $4, I trust you for it. Just come back someday and pay us. Okay, okay. And then the guy at the solar panel place that sold me the connectors, same things. He said, oh, you look like the guy will come back and pay make good on that just stick them in your pocket and we'll catch we'll catch up later <laughs> so now and i didn't even realize this oh i didn't even realize this till i'm halfway back up here in the rv i could have stopped right then and there and went back in but just, uh, i'm halfway back here and i realized oh i had the rv with me the whole time the money was just outside so i feel a little bit dumb <laughs> As you can see, Bella is going to supervise the entire operation. What a joke. Are we going to do this right? Oh yeah, I'll keep an eye on things. I sure will. Now, the original starter kit came with everything I needed. The panel, the mounting hardware, the charge controller, all the wires. It came with everything needed. If you buy additional panels, it does not come with the mounting hardware. You will need to... Um, 
buy those separately. So make sure you get your mounting hardware. And these brackets, uh, there's four of them. They came, they come with the hardware, the nuts and bolts to mount the brackets to the panel. And then it also comes with the screws to screw the panel down to the roof. Uh, I basically have these, and these are two piece. This is going to be the piece that the existing connect, uh, panels will connect into. Uh, there's already two up there, so uh, there's two there. And then the new panels will connect to these two. So that will allow me to connect one, two, three, four into the single wire that will go um, out and come down to my charge control. And additionally, the, the wires on the roof will you know all need secured so there are these little white uh, connectors these little white clamps that you just snap them on the wire and then you run a screw through that oops then you run a screw through that and it secures it down to the roof that way your wires aren't up there flapping in the wind and when it's all said and done all the screw holes will get sealed up so that should be everything I need to get this all done. So, you know, first step is to go ahead and I got the uh, solar panels unpackaged. I'll get all the brackets put on and then see about getting everything up on the roof and getting her done.
Well, that's it. They're wired up. Plugged in. I think better go down just to make sure everything's okay downstairs. When it first came down. Well, when it was unhooked, it was just really the batteries were resting at 12.3 volts, which is about 60% charge. Um, so they were running low. Uh, I went and I hooked it up, and I came down here to check it out. As soon as I seen, when I first looked at it, it was reading 12. Point, oops, see if we can even see that. When I first looked, it was reading 12.7, and within a moment, it went to 12.9. Up to 13 volts now, so that number will climb. And that number will climb, and we'll be looking good here before long. Huh? Everything was looking good at 13 volts, but then the number started going back down again. Went down to 12.7. Then I realized a big cloud had just gone over. <laughs> it was blocking the sun, so. Let's see, there it is, getting sunny again, 12.8, 12.9, all right, it's, it's going to be okay. <laughs> but wouldn't you know it, as luck would have it, it suddenly got cloudy, cooled off, rained a little bit, and uh, so, anyway, I'll update you how this solar thing's working out. Um, I need a good sunny, uh, a good full sunny day or two, and I'm, I'm sure it's going to do well so I'll throw an update in here at some so point. with that project done I'm more than ready to uh, move down the road now the R RTR is all wrapped up uh, well it's almost wrapped up it's wrapped up as far as I'm concerned so I'm ready to get on down the road and get on to some new things uh, so thanks for uh, checking out the project I'll I'll put a link in the video description of that solar starter kit um, which is expandable up to 400 watts, but it's, it's a 100 watt starter kit that came comes with everything to get started. So I'll leave a link to that down in the video description. And uh, thanks for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, we're heading down to some new new stuff here pretty soon. So check back. Thanks for watching, and until next time.